But what we really need to use is, of course, links and then traces, not of the object, but traces of the links. This is the border linking traces. These border link, border links, psychic border links are in fact a conductible capacity of our mind. There is an image that I used to use a lot instead of using the word object or lacking object or object I and all that. I was talking about the erotic antenna of the psyche that disperse different aspects, links, waves, intensities, affects. And on the thread composed already of the imprints, memory traces of traumatic event and but when I say traumatic event, let us understand one another, I don't mean something that necessarily is horrible and hurting. Uh, I usually say jouissance and traumatic event. And jouissance is, of course, the more joyful, pleasurable, and traumatic is more usually putting it on the suffering side. But on the whole, when we use trauma in psychoanalysis, we don't use it in the everyday sense. It's not like I had a car accident and therefore I'm traumatized, but trauma is used to understand any event occurring in the real for which the imaginary and the symbolic tools are either not enough or not available to capture the event. So either you have residues that cannot be dealt with or you have events of the body, events that involve the body that are either full of joy or full of sorrow or whatever, and they are not covered and explained. And what you do in psychoanalysis is giving some names to all of those, right? But if you think, for example, of, uh, of, of Lacan, when he says that the real, the real is between trauma and fantasy, he discern a field between trauma not as an event or a horrible event, but event occurring in the real, event occurring in the body that for which we have no language to take care of it. And then between trauma and fantasy, it means that the first language to elaborate trauma, to elaborate that which is not yet understood and elaborated, is through phantasmatic products, is through the fantasy. So this is the field of the real. And why did I say all that? in order to say that we don't only talk about objects in that field and loss, but also about the resonance and the linking. And uh, what we need to understand is that that, that sphere is, is very primary, but is also a primary in the now. I'm not talking about us being babies in the womb or anything. I'm talking about us in any now. On the one hand, we communicate or we refuse communication, and on the other hand, we are working through our way on the matrixial sphere. Exactly one hour, Mr. Wolfgang. Very good. So, <laughs> exactly one hour, but I gave you three pages out of ten, so. <laughs> I can give you a reading, or you, you can... You have been generous to us, too. <laughs> yes. That's what I could do. Yes. Um, everybody knows, and you know, too, that my patience with psychoanalysis is very limited. And, but that's why I'm always so happy to have you, because you are not, whatever you say, in my view, you are not a psychoanalyst, so you are, you are a, what's that, a runaway from psychoanalysis. You are the one kind of imploding uh, what we <laughs> say, you know, and that's why I'm uh, happy to listen to you, but because I see how all these uh, explanations and knowledge and everything where they make a business out of it, under your touch uh, starts uh, dissolving, not into nowhere, but probably where they authentically are coming from but later have been, uh, uh, what's that, German, verfestigt, yeah. have been become substantiated, Absolutely. which became a teaching, became a knowledge instead of an art, 
of understanding uh, Nietzsche uh, in there. And that's why when I, my intuition from last time that we are both, and we both, and some other two, are working on a very similar, uh, yeah, on the basis of very, very similar intuition. I call it my language just living. <laughs> you, you give me, you give me here, uh, which much more uh, to, right? you have many more words than I have in this respect, and you. Living also, is not enough. No, no, no. <laughs> but the point is, what I like about it, if you would construct words, then I would say, what is the, is that not a very phallic thing too? Is the only thing I understand when phallic so construct something. And again, but no, your your construction, as I said, has this this quality of nicht coming into touch with uh, established uh, concepts, and this touch, these concepts never survive. Nicht? They are not that you kill them. That would be uh, too phallic. Too easy, right? Too phallic. <laughs> but you, you call them back into their uh, yeah. What I call source or basics or whatever. Also all words we know are not good words because they are uh, kind of evoking that there is a, a ground we are standing on, and that's not a ground actually. But yeah. the sea, I love. That is might might be the image I get. You know, when the, the sea is rolling, the waves are coming back, mm -hmm. and they're always changing, and uh, something like that. Because that's how life lives, and you are calling it back, and you do it. That is the difference, certainly, between us. Um, this uh, emphasis, even the privilege you give to the uh, mother in this uh, respect. Yeah. And yeah. certainly, uh, <laughs> even if I'm only a little bit a man, uh, I, I <laughs> certainly my motherly qualities are also kind of... Uh, I don't have... A child, but I was very, I was at least very near to the blood of it in when I, my child came to life because the midwife did not appear, so I had to play the midwife. Ah, good. So I have a very, uh, like a bodily experience of compassion <laughs> in there, and I was surprised how well I did, you know. Yeah. So, before that, I would never, I want to go somewhere, I'm only pain and suffering and screaming and blood and breaking and everything. <laughs> you know, and after that, how can you have ever sex again, you know? So, so you no, know, no, no, it was totally different from what I expected. It was a necessity in there. Real necessity is a German notwendig, it was a notwendig experience. Uh, in there. And so, yes, and then I have certainly got a, also in the first years, because nicht, kids are only interesting, interesting as long as they are babies, um, <laughs> and, uh, because afterward you know everything a while, but this is a time you cannot remember, and now you see in somebody else nicht, what a kind of just living they exist, and no, no second thoughts, uh, screaming, and everything to smell, and everything is so, so, uh, fits so appropriate in the yeah. first uh, years. So and I was lucky enough that it's a gift that I could encounter the first year without having to stay there for a longer time. Uh, so <laughs> I still meet my son, but only to go to movies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, in this time, in fact, I got an appreciation and understanding, uh, even a, a memory, if you want, what an extremely important uh, time it has been. Also, and so in this, both the ways, important without any emphasis. It's not a hierarchy going yeah. on here. So yeah. it's really that what you in your try to evoke, nicht? this is where we all come from, mm -hmm. and which we, which stays with us. I think that's an also mm -hmm. extremely important for you. It's not something back, psychoanalysis has to, to, to rediscover something like that. So it's a state which we never leave, fortunately, yeah. and which is a process of life, whatever. But it is more than just saying it's a process. So you are trying to give the process, and with the help of an escapee from psychoanalysis,